There are seemingly endless ways to design a three-day training program, but in this video, I'm gonna show you two simple ways to do it in less than 10 minutes. Since 2013, we've collectively helped thousands of people get into better shape and improve their confidence within the gym. And I think the first thing to improving your confidence in the gym comes down to your training program and knowing that you're doing the right thing every time we set foot in the gym. So with that in mind, let's get right in to two simple ways of designing a three-day workout program. So the first thing we need to do when setting up a training program is figure out which days are we training. Which days we're going to train will dictate what our training split or the organization of our workouts is going to be or look like throughout the week. The first option we're gonna go through is a full body example. And that example is going to be used if we're working out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, for example. Option two is going to be an upper lower with a full body workout attached to the third day. And that example is going to be used, let's say if we're using or going to the gym on Monday and Tuesday, so two back-to-back -back days, we have a couple of rest days in between, and we have one more opportunity for a third workout later in the week. So the first example we're gonna go over here today is going to be that full body split, right? The one we're using if we're training Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, for example. So what you can see here on the screen that we're gonna be using the full body split. Day one is gonna be Monday, day two is going to be Wednesday, and day three is going to be Friday. Now when we're working on a full body split, we're working on breaking up each workout to train muscles across the entire body in each workout. So the first example you're gonna go over here, as you can see on the screen, is going to be the full body breakdown, as if you're training Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I thought it would be helpful to actually go over each day and which muscle groups I find as a priority and how we're gonna actually start to organize them on these three days. You're gonna notice in blue, these are the mandatory or primary exercises or muscle groups rather that I find to be very important that are gonna be the best bang for your buck and give us the most out of the time that we have to put in, okay? So on day one, you're gonna see chest, legs, backs, and shoulders. As a bonus, we could tack on if we have the time or energy, arms, calves, and abs, right? But why I have arms, calves, and abs as options, one is those are more isolation or single joint oriented movements or movement patterns in which we're gonna be training less muscle tissue per rep, right? So when we're training full body, we wanna be able to train as many muscle groups in each rep as possible, right? Train as much muscle tissue with the time we have to put in at the gym. That's gonna be how we're going to move the needle forward in terms of progress with only three days to train. Now in the blue, you're gonna notice that we're hitting the same muscle groups on Wednesday and Friday as we were on Monday, but I've reorganized them in a way where you're gonna be hitting different muscle groups on each day high first in the workout as more of a priority, right? So in Monday, we hit chest first, and Wednesday, we hit legs first, and then Friday, we hit back first, right? Now, the first exercises that we're performing or muscle groups that we're gonna be training within each session are going to take the highest priority in terms of what we have to give from a neurological perspective, a muscular perspective, and an energy perspective. So that's why I've kind of reorganize them each day. You can keep the same workouts across the week, absolutely, but if you want some variety and variation, I've added that in there for you, okay? So as we talk through, and then the next uh, section here in the next slide, we're actually gonna go through which exercises are we gonna tack in to these workouts or fill in the muscle groups in each day with, okay? So let's get right into that. So for example, here in the full body split on Monday, I'm just gonna go over uh, Monday here to keep it simple, but you can see my logic uh, from the last slide when we're going over muscle groups that we're gonna train. All I'm doing in this is filling in those muscle groups with an exercise that trains that muscle group or that movement pattern. Okay, so in Monday for chest, we're hitting a dumbbell chest press. For legs, we're hitting a back squat. For back, we're hitting a vertical pull down movement, so something like that, like a lat pull down or something. And for shoulders, we're hitting a dumbbell shoulder press. Now, if you have an option to hit arms, throw in some bicep curls or some tricep pushdowns or whatever you wanna do there, 
that's yours to explore or fill in. I just wanted to give you an example there on the screen. Okay, and you can see as we move across the week on Wednesday and Friday, we are again just filling in those days or those muscle groups rather with exercises that best train that muscle group. Okay, now if you guys want to learn more about exercise selection, I'm gonna link that video up in the upper right hand corner and you can go watch that after this one to understand a little bit more about how to choose the best exercises for each muscle group. Okay, so that's the full body split. And to put it all together, <clears throat> you may be wondering, well, how many reps and sets do I actually do? Or how, do, how many reps or sets do I perform in these workouts? Okay, so let's actually go to that. So this is just all those days just combined, giving you some context around sets, reps, and rest periods. Now, when getting started, I think hitting three to four sets of every exercise, hitting eight to 10 reps of every exercise, and resting between 60 and 90 seconds between exercises or between sets is going to be the best bet for you. Now, as you get more advanced, as you get more experience, as you start to tune in to what works best for you, you can start to adjust things up or down depending on your performance and recovery and how much time you have each day you go into the gym. Now, let's move on to the next option. So let's say you have Monday, Tuesday, and Friday to train, right? Now, when those sessions are that close to hit, you could hit two full body sessions back to back, but another way to do that, you may not want to do it, right? And so the way we can organize a back to back session here, rather than doing full body, we can split things up on Monday, doing an upper body focused workout. Tuesday, we could do a lower body focused workout. We have a couple of rest days in between. And by the time we get to Friday, everything should be pretty fresh, meaning we could hit a full body workout to include all of the muscle groups, just like we did in version one of the program on that Friday. And then you can keep this routine week in and week out, progressing things as you can. So as we go through here, again on Monday, focusing in more on upper, now, if we split things up into more of upper body sessions and lower body sessions, we have an opportunity to train a few more things in each session, right? Because we have more time in that session because we're not having to hit every single muscle group across the body, especially those big ones, right? So on that upper day, we can hit chest, back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps. You're gonna see that I'm including arms now on that upper body workout day because we have more time available right? Because we're not having to hit legs as well on that day. Now, when we move over to Tuesday, you're going to see that we can hit quads, glutes, hamstrings, uh, and calves. And I've structured it out in this example to show you where my thought process is at when trying to select for muscle groups that we're going to train, which will eventually inform the exercises that we're going to include, or you can include on your own. Okay, and then Friday is going to be, again, back, chest, legs, shoulders with the optional arms and calves being just like that first version if you're training Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, so moving on, just like we did for the first variation of, or the first version of these programs, I'm going to fill in the exercises. So for chest, on that upper body day, we can hit, again, a dumbbell chest press or anything similar or comparable, a pull down movement a lateral raise movement for the shoulders, bicep curl for the biceps, and a triceps push down for the triceps, right? And an optional calves and abs there. Tuesday, day two, so the day one was the upper body. Day two is gonna be the lower body session, right? So back squat, a bent knee RDL, machine leg curl, machine leg extension, calf raise with an optional abs and core if you have the time. And then Friday, just like in version one, a full body session, right? So a horizontal row, a machine chest press, a leg press, and a dumbbell shoulder press with the options of hitting arms and calves if you have time or the energy to do so. So putting that all together, again, just like we did with version one, giving reps and sets, right? Remember back earlier in this video, I talked about how I think doing three to four sets that are challenging with eight to 10 rep range with 60 to 90 second rest in between sets and exercises is a great place to start. And you can start to progress things or pull things back depending on your performance and recovery across the week or throughout each session. 
right? Keeping a training or logbook can certainly help. And we have a video to help you break that down again up here in the upper right hand corner if you want to watch that after this one. Now, if you've stuck around, here are some considerations for these style of workouts, right? The days per week you're training is going to dictate how you should organize your workouts, right? So if you're training Monday, Wednesday, Friday, a full body training split is a really good option across the week. Now, if we have Monday, Tuesday, and Friday to train, right? Those two back-to-back -back days with some rest days in between, and then the third later in the week, you could do full body as well, but another way or another variation, if you want to explore this option, is an upper lower split with a full body workout for that third workout of the week. Okay. And when training three times per week, you're going to want to prioritize, we talked about this as well, prioritize multi-joint compound movements, right? That are training a lot of muscle groups each and every rep over single joint isolation movements, right? So a multi-joint compound movement, something like a bench press or a, a squat or a leg press, something that is utilizing multiple joints at a time and training a lot of muscle tissue across those joints in every rep. Single joint movements are something like a bicep curl or a tricep pushdown, where we're training much less muscle tissue per rep. Meaning if we have, if we're short on time and we're short on days per week that we can train in the gym, I believe that going for the bang for your buck exercises, exercises that train more muscle tissue per rep are gonna be more worth your time. So that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was to the point and structured in a way that it could be helpful for you to start building out a three-day workout program. Now, depending on exercise selection, depending on what you have available at your gym, whether you're training at a gym or at home, feel free to mix and match those exercises to what you have available in your training space. If you have any questions or where to put a certain exercise for a certain muscle group, pop that down below in the comments. We'll be more than happy to answer your questions or concerns and further your knowledge within building training programs. That's gonna be it for me. I'm Coach Austin. If you guys have any further questions or wanna explore working with us one-on-one, -on -one, go to physiquedevelopment.com. See you guys in the next one.